Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Everdon 2 The Corruption. So, last, lastly and finally, uh, we are going to talk to our commander to report what we saw on our patrol, also what happened to our fellow scout. Um, in here, nice statues, pack papers. Monetary Yutsua. Okay. There is a Shadow Walker standing at the head of this table, poring over maps and blade rosters uh, intently. Uh, through the through the slits of the traditional mask. Okay. Oh, well, don't know what I read there at first. Uh, through the through the slits of the traditional mask, you can see bags under her eyes. Since the keep was attacked, she has had very little sleep. She nods as you approach. Though she doesn't move any of her papers aside. Welcome, Matantua. We have not met, but I know of your little adventure up north. I am Monitor Yutsua, honored second in command to Commander Odile. I'd like to speak with you, apparently. I have already heard of your arrival. The commander would prefer that you report to him directly. He is in the hall to the west. When you are done there, I might be able to aid you. Fair enough. Um, where's this lead? Door is locked. Takes two lockpicks, huh? No, I don't want to do that right now. This uh, cannot be locked. Okay, no, not be locked. Cannot be picked. This is also interestingly the only one of the three towers with the stairs up. Okay, this is my commander. Well, I'll be with you in a second. Hand as me. You know what? I should probably just talk to him. <laughs> in case any of the other NPCs also only want to talk to me once I'm done talking to him. So, let's get that out of the way. Um, you meet Commander Odile for only the second time. Oh, really? Your first meeting was very brief and brusque. Brusque? Hmm. After the introduction, you were sent to scout the hills to look for rebel incursions. This meeting, however, you have his full attention. He is an aging Kellum warrior with pale blonde hair, rapidly shading to grey. Shading to grey. He came from Kellum Daryl far to the north to spend his life in the futile task of bringing order to the, to the contested lands. He notes the presence of Kalida with a brief lip curl of disapproval. Then he turns to you. Ah, uh, Atantuo, is it? One of our scouts. He reaches for a, for a pen. Tell me what is happening to the north. <laughs> what is happening here? No, I, that's really not my place to ask right now. Um, we were attacked. Ogres, Wildram warriors, and even a titan. I guess that's the best of those options. You describe everything you saw in detail. Odile writes it down eagerly. Wildram scouts, humanoids, and a titan? This is truly troubling. Widespread problems far beyond what we expected. There is more I need to know. Uh, what do you need to know? You're left here on a scouting mission with... Um, he checks his notes. Silky. That was her name. Valuable scout. Did not return with you. What happened there? A titan struck Silky down. Oh, there was a titan. I thought he was an ogre. An ogre. Uh, maybe he was a titan. Odile says, a titan? I would... It would be hard to believe if two of those creatures hadn't just torn down our north gate. Was Silky slain? Um... I don't know. The Titan hit Silky and carried off the body. Odile nods and makes a quick note on a scroll. Carried off. Very suspicious. If you learn anything new about Silky's fate, I want to know immediately. Enough reporting. Now we must act quickly and decisively. What is going on? Odile admits with a, with great regret, <laughs> with great regret. I don't know. I'd like to take to talk more about Silke. I understand, and it it is hard to lose a partner, and yet there are many more lives at stake. We need to act. What now? Odile stops and thinks. He is unsure, an unfamiliar, and unpleasant sensation. Then he remembers that Kalida is is there. The idea comes quickly. It is time that Avadon earns its keep, earns its keep for the pact. We will report this disaster to them. We will ask for more aid. We will see if we can awaken Redbeard from his slumber. But what will I do? You will be my envoy. There is a portal pylon to the south, old and inactive, but, hand, 
but a hand of Avedon can restore it. It will take you to Avedon in a moment, and then you can get us the help we need. He looks at Kalida. And you, of course, will want to guide it, to guide Atantua and make sure the message gets through. You and that sorcerer are staring at the giant rock in my courtyard. Kalida takes a step forward. That is not our mission. We are here to help you. And that is how you can best help me. Protect Atantua and free me of your unwelcome presence. You don't want hands of Avedon here? Odile grins and leans back in his chair. I don't want them anywhere. Avedon's brutality and arrogance have outlasted their usefulness. But this is not the time to talk politics. Your message, uh, your message must get through, and the best way to guarantee, to guarantee it is for the hands to escort you. Kalida nods. I must admit, the course makes sense. What is a portal pylon? A magical stone which can send you to Avedon in an instant. Weeks of travel compressed into a moment. The stones to the south. The hands can guide you there. What do I do when I reach Avedon? Tell Redbeard what happened here. See what little, see what little aid you can get. Then get back to me so that I can put you to productive work. Um, okay, I, I will get it done. That is the spirit. Good fortune, and hope that Avedon does not, and I hope that Avedon does not corrupt you with its power madness. Go collect Yannick the sorcerer, and I will, and I will have the southern gate open for you. Go south, get to the pylon, report to Avedon, and return. Kalida says. I will make sure Tantua gets through, and then I will be back. You will not you will not be rid of Avedon so quickly. Odile says, and go. I'm sure there's nothing else you need. Hmm. Okay, Commander Odile of Rockridge Keep has tasked you to report a recent raid to the fortress uh, to the fortress of Avedon, and see what aid can be secured for his fortress. You need to collect the Avedon source Ryanic. Yes. Alright, uh, who are you? And ask me. There is a sorceress sitting in this office. Well, hiding. She sits slumped in a chair in the corner, her blonde hair unwashed, and her long robes unlaundered. Only the symbol on her shoulder, marking her as a hand of Avedon, is clean and fresh, and considering how often she nervously picks at it with her fingernails, it will not remain thus for long. She keeps. Uh, she looks up at you. Welcome to my office. I am Hand Asme, representative of the, of the August Power of Avedon. What business do you have here? I would like to speak with you. And Esme is quiet for a long moment. Then she says, I understand that you have already been given two hands to aid you. My assistance would only make things confusing. Then she stares silently at you until you go away. Kalida shakes her head in quiet contempt, but otherwise says nothing. Hmm, weird. I wonder... Hmm. Now I wonder what, what she would have said if I had talked to her first. She probably would would have just stared at me and said nothing. Oh, this is about Avedon. Um, right. Still haven't looked up the shortcut. Uh, Avedon. Again, I'm not gonna read it, so uh, not allowed anyway. So feel free to pause and read it if you're interested. And we got. Just a watcher. Talk about the contested lands. Oops, here we go. Oh. Is this supposed to be a bathroom? Maybe. Right, this is not open. Let's take a look at the top floor here. Oh, more lore about Linnaeus in general. Wait, didn't we have that? Yeah, okay, we already had that. What's this? Commander's Chambers. It's locked. Yeah, I'm not that interested in spying on her, uh, her, her on him, <laughs> rather. Um, guest Quarters are also locked. Interestingly, the guest quarters are locked more securely than the commanders. Alright. I could spend some lockpicks to... Oh, no, wait a second. To uh, open some of these doors, but I don't really want to at this point. 
Uh, Monitor Yutsua stand stands at her post, studying maps and making plans. She is fueled by constant infusions of tea and an occasional tiny nap. Okay, so now I can talk to her. Uh, so you're a monitor. Yes, I command the f the first lands of Rockridge Keep. There are eight lances here currently. Oh, what's a lance? A hundred warriors, usually. A lance is made up of ten blades, each of which has ten soldiers. It is how the armies of the Pact are organized. And the commander? A commander commands a force, which is usually ten lances. Right now, we only have eight. Now that this attack has happened, we hope to be staffed up to a full force. So... Um, there is supposed to be 800 soldiers here. I mean, uh, yeah, sure, they're not all shown. In just for for the sake of uh, not, you know, cluttering the game with hundreds of nondescript NPCs. But 800 seems like a lot. I don't know. Um, that's. I mean, that's a lot of people. <laughs> just saying. Um, do you think that will happen? Stuffing up. When Titans smash down the gates of a packed fortress, that has a way of attracting the attention of Hanvar's council. I am optimistic. Okay. Um, tell me about the current situation. The contested lands are full of rebels, bandits and savage humanoids. Their fear of the Pact and Abaddon has been lost. Our forces here are too weak to maintain order. The situation could hardly be worse. Um, I am going to Abaddon, actually. I... I see. I hope that you can obtain aid for us. However, you may have difficulty for political reasons. Political reasons? Our commander is a known foe of Abaddon. Many mistrust the power of Abaddon, of course, but most are quieter and more diplomatic. Yeah, I guess he's not really the diplomatic type. You support Abaddon? Yes, completely. Abaddon has done more to preserve the pact than any other group, including Hanvar's council. What do you think of Commander Odile's very vocal attacks on Abaddon? He is a frank and passionate warrior forced to sit at a desk writing reports. This leads to too much thinking and brooding on his part. It would be wiser if he could focus his energies on fighting the rebellion. Um... Hmm. I don't know, is he right? Uh, I mean, yes, Abaddon has ensured peace. But I, I think I talked about that in an earlier episode. So, there's a fine balance that has to be achieved between ensuring peace and oppressing the people, you know. And I'm not sure Abaddon is doing that, is getting that one right. Hmm, maybe Adil should be reassigned to a battlefield command. I guess that would suit him better. It is not my place to say, but since you mentioned it, his strengths are best suited for the battlefield. Um, I would like to aid you. Is there anything I can do to help? Yitsua starts to shake her head. Then she looks at the enormous pile of reports in front of her. I cannot distract you from your vital mission. However, so much remains to be done. I can, I suppose, tell you some things I know about. For example, in the woods where you and Silke were attacked, there is a lumberyard there, abandoned by its owners. It has been taken over by wretches. If you were passing there and happened to destroy them, I could give you some useful assets from our stories. Uh, haven't I slain those? I mean, I have slain some wretches in some uh, abandoned building. Hmm, and why haven't you slain them? Because we are surrounded by foes, and because this particular group is protected by several turrets. It appears they found the stores of a Tinker Mage and put them to use. Uh, and if I don't have time? That is your decision. I only suggest if you are consumed with bloodlust, waste, that such a thirst might be profitably slaked. Uh, fair enough. Hmm, okay, I don't think... I think that's that. Okay, now I have the quest. Maybe that's already completed. North of Rockridge Keep, near where you first were first attacked. Clear them out. Um. I guess those must be different wretches. Interesting. 
Hmm. I was kind of hoping to get a quest to uh, clear out the spiders, maybe, but I guess that w really was just freelance work on my own time. Um, so I can now, right, first of all, go talk to Yannick. Uh, where was he? Uh, not here. Derp. But in the main courtyard, um, there was that one person who. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. I remember. So first of all, Yannick. Uh, Yannick gives you a half smile and waits to see what you have to say. He would clearly prefer to be spending his limited time studying the old stone. Um, I need to. I need you to come with me, apparently, because one hand to accompany me is not enough. What? Where? Back to Avedon. Already? After the long journey here? He looks at Kalida for confirmation, the Blade Master nods. Well, duty calls. Tell me when you are ready to depart. Um, Odile doesn't appear to like you. The commander's dislike of Avedon is well known, but it has recently begun to transition into open rebellion. When Avedon is restored, Redbeard will discuss things with him. Okay. Um, well, let's go, I guess. Yannick stands and grabs his pack. I am always ready to travel. Onward. How will we return? Kalida grins. We need to reawaken the portal stone. Yannick is intrigued. Not something I expected to do. Perilous, but speedy. It was south, yes? We should proceed. He moves to your side. Uh, one of the characters who can travel with you is a sorcerer. He's fragile in battle, but can cast spells that do powerful damage or befuddle the minds of the enemy. Yes. Nice. Um, he's also completely unequipped. Luckily, however, I have this Sage's Rod for him, which is just a little bit better than the Apprentice one he came with. Uh, is there something... Hmm. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, crap. It's not what I meant to do. Oh well, I'm not gonna reload for that. That's okay. I meant to split the stack. Yeah, of course. Just shift click, as in every other game. I don't know why I, why I thought that symbol was anything but use the item right now. Oh well, okay. Should I give the lightning scrolls to my mage is the question. I think the answer is yes. Um, I should probably put them here. I want to have healing on the first slot for everyone, just for consistency's sake. I guess I might as well. Uh, give him one. Alright. And he's not gonna have any equipment for now, but that's okay. You can also level up. Uh, twice, actually. So, obviously, intelligence is gonna be the most important. Um. Let's see here. Ward mastery gives 3% level per level magic resistance. Later on, resistance to mental attacks. Hmm. Meh. Not necessarily super interesting. Arcane blessing. Grants resistance to magical and level poison and acid for a short time. At level 3, it blesses the entire party. That's certainly useful. And level 6, hastes all nearby allies. That's uh, Haste is really good. It gives everyone more uh, action points. Wait. No, that's that's different. Uh, that's... Hmm. What's, what's that called? There's uh, an, a condition that gives you extra action points. No, haste is um, sometimes being able to act twice per round, which is also obviously pretty useful. 
Um, arcane curse. Also useful. Cloud of confusion. I did unlock that in the first game on my mage, but never really got much use out of it. I guess it's potentially useful. It takes a long time to reach, though. Hmm. I guess the question is, do I want to make him mostly um, offensive focused or more uh, support? I guess support is actually more useful since mages will deal a lot of damage anyway. But before I can unlock that, I must unlock this. So let's start doing that. And now for the spells. I mean, yeah, he does not have a an attack spell right now, but he does have his standard attack with his staff, which is a a magic attack, and that is also uh, increased by his um, intelligence stat. So there's always that. Uh, what do I want to have on my first slot, though? Shadow charm. It's basically like um, Fade, the the priest spell from World of Warcraft, if you're familiar with that. Mm, I think I want to have that. And I guess that and that. Alright. So, we have a third party member now. Awesome. We also could leave at any point. But there was that one character I wanted to come back and talk to. He did say that I that he might have a task for me if I once I had uh, time to spare. Not that I right Corral was his name. Um, I mean technically I have a I have a an order that I should follow right now. Um, okay, yeah. So I need to become a proper hand of Avedon if I ever, if I actually become one. But I'm assuming that I will. And then he's gonna give me a quest. So the pylon, uh, the transport pylon, was not, or is not active right now. Hasn't been active so far. Makes me wonder why that is, because those are certainly extremely useful. There must be a reason why it's inactive. As you emerge from the south gate of the fort, Yannick stops and gives a long sigh. Kalida seems to expect this. She doesn't even break his stride. Uh, is there a problem? He looks at you, happy to have a fresh audience for his troubles. Apologies, Atonto. My life's work takes place in cities and ruins, not the wild. It is always with regret that I leave the safety of walls, even crumbling ones. Um, that is an odd opinion for a hand of Evadon. Unusual, perhaps, but I did not choose to be a hand. It is a rare privilege, but not one I ever sought. How did you become a hand? Uh, hasn't he kind of told, told us already? Huh. Conscription, one of the oldest rites of Avalon. To call into service those it thinks it, ne it thinks it needs, especially in times of strife. Kalida rolls her eyes. Yannick chooses to ignore it. My, truth, my true work is research. Studying the many lost peoples of Linnaeus, their language, their cultures, their powers. But I will help escort you to safety in Avalon uh, instead. There are a lot of lost civilizations? Thousands of them. Everywhere you go, every step you take, there are bones underfoot, and bones under those, and more bones. The history lost to us is without limit. Their powers? I want to find secrets to lost magic of old. That is my main goal. Who knows what magic secrets have been lost? To dispel the hurricane? To summon a castle from the earth in moments? Maybe to even shape new life? Those secrets are there. I will find them, if Redbeard ever gives me time. Why exactly do I need to go? <laughs> do I need to go to Avedon? I don't know why I would ask him that, but it's the only option. Instead of say writing a letter, 
Uh, you could send a report on paper, but Hot Protus and Redbeard prefer to get important news firsthand. And yes, an alliance of rebels, wretches, ogres, and titans counts as important. So, the gaze of Avedon falls squarely upon you, unfortunate. I'd like to know more about Avedon. Yannick relaxes, eager to avoid passing through the city gates. Of course, what would... And then Kalida clears her throat. <laughs> Yannick, enough delays. Let's go while we have daylight. Uh, of course. You will learn all you want to know soon enough. Let's find the portal pylon. Complaints concluded. He joins Kalida in walking down the road. Fair enough. Hey, we got snare mines and bolt flingers. Okay, those seem like lower level traps that I might be able to deal with. The three of you walk down the road, south toward the Riverlands. Um, once there, you will find the portal pylon and then hopefully you will be in Avedon moments later. You are full of both fear and anticipation. Since you were a child, you heard terrifying tales of Avedon and its master, Redbeard about his power, his reach, his ability to rain horrible vengeance on any who would harm the pact, and now you are going to face him personally. The risk is great, but the potential rewards are almost limitless. All you need to do is get through miles of rebel-infested woods in order to find some pylon that might not work. You match the confident strides of the two hands, Kalida and Yannick. Your journey begins. Yay! Tutorial concluded, huh? Officially, that is. Um, well, okay. Say it again. Oh, not quite. Can you help? Oh, okay, so every anyone can do that. I guess just... Uh, ouch. Tinker mages might be... Uh, might have an advantage. As in, deal more damage. When disarming them. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I guess in that case... Or, well, not in that case, just... In general, I should probably... Wait, what? Oh, she's snared from the... Yeah, that's unfortunate. He... She? I keep saying she. With that... Why does he have pink hair, by the way? That seems a bit weird. Um... Oh, that wasn't a lot of damage. Can you reach this? You can. Okay, wow. That was actually kind of close. Mm. Right. So the three of us can uh, re pretty reliably uh, disarm one of these in one turn. That's good. I just make to. Uh, I just have to make sure that we all uh, get to act in the same turn before the mine goes off, or the, in the case of the turrets, just take those out quickly. Well, uh, I didn't actually think. I, um, or I actually thought I I hadn't made it. Looked like uh, the mine had a sliver of health remaining, but apparently not. Dried meat, yay! Potion of health. Who needs that? He does. Um, one lockpick. Yeah, sure. Okay. Some money, some animal skins, a wand of fire. Oh, uh, sure, why not? I mean, uh, obviously, I'm gonna take it. There was no, no real question about that. What? Oh, and we got some actual enemies here. Wretches. Wretch. One wretch hunter, one warrior, and two just wretches. Wretch uh, civilians, I guess. Hmm. I wonder, is it worth summoning... Summoning forth a turret? Pro 
probably not. But that's okay. Ouch. Hey. Stop that. So, yeah. Very much not worth it. Oh, never mind. There are more. Oh. There was only one more, though. So, nope. Not worth it. It says supply cache. Oh, fair enough. You are an ogre ruffian. Hmm. Might be a little bit tough. Oh. Oh, that one dropped something. And it's a piece of armor. Throw that away, it's it can be sold. What are these supposed to be? Wooden structures without any windows or doors? Riverlands to the south. Fair enough. So the pylon is not immediately um, in the immediate vicinity of Wait. Uh, okay, I was gonna say it, on the map it looked like those enemies were even further south for a moment, like inside the loading zone. Um, so yeah, the pylon is uh, seems to be a bit further away. I was expecting it to be literally right south of the fortress, um, but yeah, that's not the case. Uh, Shaman, oh, Shaman Quoru. Guess she's gonna make her way toward that guy. Maybe, nope. Couldn't reach. You can finish off that one though. I guess in this case, summoning a turret would be in order. Don't see a reason not to use the snare turret. Uh, why don't you challenge? Okay, I wasn't I wasn't sure if that would reach all of these, but obviously it did. Uh, wait, whose turn is it? Oh, I didn't see him flashing there for a second. Um, So at this point, it only increases his resistance to magical attacks, basically. Magical and elemental stuff. So, no real reason to use that. Uh, dazes all enemies in a pretty large area. So, everyone but the shaman, who might Im be immune anyway. So there is that. Ouch. Oops. Um... That guy is a little bit tougher, but that's okay. Hmm. I'm gonna oh well, that killed him anyway. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping for the snare turret to finish all of them off at once, and it did work out. Potion of recovery, which I wasted one of, unfortunately. Yes, you can collect those. Actually, there were two of them. I hardly ever use those. Uh, I mean, yeah, they certainly are useful. It's just, I don't know. 
I guess there's no but about it. They're useful and I just I'm just too hesitant to use my resources in all games I play. I'm aware of it, but I can't really seem to change my habits. Um, since I won't be reaching anyway. Oh, nice. Level up. Alright. Uh, no drops. Mm, I do want to end the episode sooner rather than later, but I would also like to finish up checking these last remaining bits of the map because I'm so close to finishing it. Oh, you start to see bones scattered among the blades of grass. Some of them are old and gnawed. Worryingly, others have little bits of meat still attached to them. The odor of rot is faint in the breeze. The rebels who raided this fort may have left a bit of unpleasant magic behind. Um... Oh, skeletons. Those look more like the zombies. They look oddly fleshy, but I guess it's really just uh, skeletons clad in rags. They're pretty brittle, though. <laughs> well. And we got more. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well, so I completely forgot to level her up. Why don't we do that first and foremost? Hmm. More endurance. For now. So if I want to level up, level this up to three, I'd have to level these up as well. Hmm. I mean, they're useful. Increases health per um, by five percent. Uh, I guess this is somewhat of a priority because um, hit chance is uh, definitely a good thing to have. Even early on. So why, why I don't bring that up to level 3 right away? Because that also gives me the cleaving side effect, which is definitely a great thing to have. Uh, she can reach him. Awesome. Right, and that's for you. <sighs> I should not completely neglect his HP. But I think I want to make him more powerful first and foremost hmm firebolt wait is that different no firebolt is just his, his standard attack um right Guess I want to increase that a little bit. Wait. 
iron spear. That's what I already have. Um, well, I guess I did explore most of this map. I could probably enter this. Um, and I will do that next time. Didn't expect to find a, another uh, side quest here. Or side occupation. Not really a quest yet. Alright, that satisfies my completionism for the time being. Eh, there's a little... There is some, some unexplored pixels on the map, but that's okay. Um, I don't want to overdo it right now. Uh, episode is already longer than I would have wanted, but that's okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button and leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Till then, have a wonderful time, and bye-bye.